I am Richa Shakya, Assistant Professor from Noida Institute of Engineering Technology, Pharmacy Institute, Greater Noida. Today I am here to deliver a lecture on the topic and from the subject is Human Entombed in Physiology 2 and this quotes the BP 201T and the today's topic is the spinal cord. So, in this lecture we will discuss about the spinal cord gross structure function of afferent and efferent nerve tract. So, now start with the introduction part of the spinal cord. Now, spinal cord, what is spinal cord? So, spinal cord is the most important structure between the body and the brain ok. It is a connection between the body and the brain. If there is, if the spinal cord is broken uh, during any accident or any trauma at that condition what happened there is a the connection is break. The connection between the body and the brain will break and the person is die ok. So, this is the important bridge between the brain and the body. So, the spinal cord is the most important structure between the body and the brain. The spinal cord extends from the foramen magnum where it continues with the medulla to the level of the first or second lumbar vertebrae. So, it start or it extends from the foramen of magmen where it is continuous, where it is continuous with the medulla at the level of the first or second lumbar vertebrae. Okay, there are the five types of vertebrae that is cervical, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral and coxae. So, these are the five types of vertebrae from where the spinal cord levels from the second, from the first or second lumbar vertebrae. Now, it is a vital link between the brain and the body and from the body to the brain. It is a bridge, ok, bridge kya hota? bridge leke bhi jata hai aur wahi bridge leke bhi aata hai. So, at that time what happened? Ki when the impulses will generated with the help of sensory neurons, sensory nerves they receive and they get transferred to the brain and brain will interpret and after that what happened the brain will interpret and then it is able to uh, deliver the message to the motor neurons that to perform that particular function and this particular function or the this motor neurons are giving the message to these spinal nerves. Then these spinal nerves will perform the action. Now, spinal cord is about 40 to 50 centimeter long and it is 1 to 1.5 centimeter in a diameter. It is consecutive two rows of nerve which emerge on each side and these nerve and these nerve joined distally with the 31 pairs of the spinal nerve. So, there are the 31 pairs of the spinal nerves by which these are interconnected. So, this, this is the spinal cord just like this is spinal cord and these are the spinal nerves which are connected with the various parts of the body parts ok. Though they it also receive the impulses or it also deliver the messages. So, it is a it also plays a just like a relay center ok. So, if we talk about the anatomy of the spinal cord. So, the spinal cord is cylindrical structure of the nerve tissue composed of white and grey matter 
and it is uniformly organized and divided into the four regions okay basically divided into the four regions cervical it is number not 5 it's a 7 okay thoracic is 12 lumbar is 5 sacral and coccyx they are vary in the number according to the adult age it is a four and fuse to it is basically is four and fuse to form the one or coccyx is also five and for fuse to a one now it contain a this contained a epidural spaces this spinal cord contain a epidural spi uh, spaces which is for the network for the sensory and the motor nerve now cylindrical of nerve tissue with the vertebral canal is a thick like as a finger the vertebral column grows faster so <coughs> in an adult the spinal cord only extended to the lumbar one as i already told you it, it extends from the first to the second lumbar okay as the person is grown up it only extended to the lumbar one the 31 pairs of the spinal nerve arises from the cervical thoracic lumbar sacral region of the <coughs> of the cord and each cord segment giving rise a pair of the spinal nerves and these are in the 31 okay and this cervical and the lumbar this is there is a cervical and the lumbar enlargement so this is a structure of the spinal cord so here there is a cervical spinal nerves because it's a cervical area and there is a cervical nerve so this area is a cervical enlargement and this is the dural sheath and this is the thoracic spinal nerve and here lumbar spinal nerve and there is a lumbar enlargement okay so there is a cervical spinal nerve thoracic spinal nerve lumbar spinal nerve last one is a sacral spinal nerve this one is a sacral spinal nerve and this is a terminal film and this is the tail part okay that is known as the cord equina okay this is a lower part of the spinal cord that is known as a cord equina and this is the like structure there is a structure that is known as the medullary cone this cone like structure is known as a medullary cone if we enlarge that particular image so this is the spinal cord this is a spinal cord this is the vertebrae okay these are the spinal nerve these are the spinal nerve and these are the spinal nerve rootlets and this is the uh, dorsal median sulci subdural spaces epidural space this is epidural spaces okay this is epidural spaces and this is the rib and there's a dura mater there is again there is a la uh, layering there is a covering of the spinal nerve spinal cord by the help of this dura mater palm dura mater arachnoid mater and the pia mater okay now so well it is well protected the spinal cord is well protected by the spinal uh, sorry if uh, with the help of uh, vertebral column and these vertebral column is made up of individual vertebrates means ye columns hote hain ठीक है ये पर्टिकुलर इनवर्टिब्रेट्स के थ्रू बने होंगे 
this is just like this okay now these vertebrates are separated by the tough intervertebral disc so this is the intervertebral okay so the two vertebrae are divided by or separated by the intervertebral disc if the intervertebral disc is, is, is not available then kya hoga dono hi vertebrae fuse ho jayenge aur jo bending ho rahi hai ya phir jo body ki postures ho rahe hain it is unable to maintain okay now the nerve enter and exit the spinal cord through the vertebrae foramina and this vertebrae foramen space where the spinal cord resides now the surface of the spinal cord shows a several longitudinal grooves these are deep anterior fissure shallow posture median sulcus lateral aspects two sulci that is the anterolateral and the posterior lateral and at the last that is a from the lateral sulci a series of root filament emerging anteriorly a posterior of each side so these are the uh, spinal cord shows that uh, there is a longitudinal grooves which is present in the spinal cord now there is a several filament from the anterior lateral and posterior lateral which sulcus unite to form the ventral and the dorsal root of roots respectively so the several filaments in the anterior lateral and the posterior lateral are sulcus unite to form the ventral and dorsal root respectively the dorsal root and the ventral roots are paired and they join to the distal to the dorsal root of ganglia and to form the spinal nerves that exits the intervertebral foramen okay so this dorsal and the ventral root are paired okay and they join to the distal to the distal to the dorsal of root ganglia and form the nerve spinal nerves which exits the canal through the intervertebral foramen now if you talk about the functions of spinal cord so there are the several function there are the several functions of the spinal cord just like conduction locomotion and reflexes the there is a different there is a lot of functions of the spinal cord as it is a relay center because it receive and it transmit it's both function that is a relay center now so the function of the first function of the spinal cord is the conduction so conduction means a bundle of fibers passing the information up and down to the spinal cord so this is a conduction system as we study in the nervous system that there is a conduction system ki when, when the one impulse is, is arises then the conduction waves move on move on and move on so here is only here is just like that ki the conduction or the impulses will generated and they passing the information from up to down of the spinal cord now locomotion so locomotion respectively if we talk about the locomotion so it is repetitive coordinated actions of several muscle groups just like central patterns generators are the pool of neurons provided the control of flexors and extensors theek hai to whenever the person is able to move or walk ki hame apni speed badhani hai kam karni hai what is the speed of the uh, movement if we see there is a uh, some problem arises just like there is a some dog in the road side so we speed up okay we speed up so the 
locomotion activities is also done by the spinal cord so the it is repetitive coordinated action of several muscles of group its central patterns generated are pools of neurons providing the control of flexors and extensors <coughs> okay now last one is the reflexes reflexes means involuntary Re reflexes kya hote reflexes kabhi bhi hamare control mein nahi honge it is always a involuntary control just like whenever you touch a surface whenever you touch a surface and surface is too much hot you just remove the how you just remove your hand from that surface immediately without uh, without waiting uh, or without thought ki uh, abhi kya karna hai ki kya nahi karna hai okay you just you just feel that hot plate and just you remove hand okay it is a immediate action so this is a reflexes okay so it is again it is in involuntary control it is not in our control okay so involuntary control it reflexes are involuntary stereotype responses to stimuli which just like remove the hand from the hot stove or whenever you just fall down jab aap girne ho to aapke to sabse pehle aapka haath aata hai you just when you when you are fall down to aapka sabse pehle haath aayega aap usko lagaoge taki aapki body ko jerk na lage it is again reflex actions aap ye nahi sochte ki main gir raha hu ya fir gir rahi hu to ek baar haath laga de nahi it's a reflex actions right now it involve in the brain spinal cord and the peripheral nerves so all the reflex actions are <coughs> done with the help of the brain spinal cord and peripheral nerves because these all are coordinate with each other okay now if you talk about the internal structure of the spinal cord so a transverse section of adult spinal cord shows a white matter periphery gray matter inside and tiny central canal filled with the csf at its center so this is the innermost structure so if we talk about the inner structure of the spinal cord so it is a transverse section of adult spinal cord shows the white matter in the periphery gray matter inside and tiny canals which is filled with the csf that is cerebro spinal fluid it is surrounding the canal in a single layer of cell that is epidermal layer surrounding epidermal layer is a gray matter which region containing cell bodies shape like h that is a butterfly agar aap spinal cord ka structure dekho kuch aisa hota hai theek hai is just like a butterfly or is a h shape right it has a two wings so the two wings of the butterfly are connected to the cross middle line dorsal gray commissure and below with the white commissure now this is the structure of the spinal cord this is a basic this is a internal structure of the spinal cord so this is the spinous process of vertebrae means this is vertebrae okay so this is spinal cord this is spinal cord if you are able to see properly so it is a just like h, h shaped or a butterfly shaped so this is a spinal cord and which is covered by the vertebrae so uh, this is spinal cord and this fibrous like structure is known as a denticulate ligaments and this tough like structure is a dorsal root ganglia and these are the spinal nerves and this is the vertebral body and this is a parameter dura mater uh, sorry parameter acromion mater and the dura mater these are the layers of the meninges which cover which covers the spinal cord now the gray matter so the gray matter in the spine spinal cord the pair of dorsal and the posterior horns a dorsal root of spinal nerves is totally sensory 
fibers and the pair of ventral anterior horns are ventral roots are spinal nerves is totally motor fibers okay remember this point the dorsal root of spinal nerve is also a sensory fibers and the ventral root of the nerve fibers are always a uh, motor fibers what is sensory and what is more uh, motor sensory means it just sense or it create the stimuli stimulus okay or a stimuli and the what is motor neuron after the interpretation the brain will transfer the message and it will receive the motor neurons and it goes to the particular site of action whenever it goes to the particular site of action they do their work so this is a motor neuron in the sensory neurons or sensory fibers now these are connected by the gray commissure punctured by central canal continuous above the fourth vent fourth ventricle white matter so white matter is a bundle of malleated axon that carry a singles ups and down and from the brain stem so what is why white matter or a white column so this is a white column which is made up of myelinated axon what is myelinated axon this is a axon just like this is a structure of neuron and this is the axon and this axon is covering with the sheath this axon is covering with the sheath and this sheath is known as myelinated so this bundle of myelinated axon that carries the single ups and down to the and to the from the brain stem and there are three pairs of the columns called or frankly that is a dorsal lateral and anterior columns now each column is filled with the named as tract or the fasciculi which is the fibers with a similar origin destination and the function so these are these white columns are basically filled with the myelinated axons now <coughs> ascending tracts so there are the two types of tract there are ascending tract the bundle of nerve fibers linking spinal cord with higher concentration of the brain that convey the information from the somatic to the visual viscera to higher level of neuroxis and this as ending sensory pathway organize the three neural chain that is a first order second order and the third order so we discuss the first order and third order and this one so this is a nociceptor what is nociceptor nociceptor which receive the pain okay so whenever the person feels the pain it goes this stimuli goes to the first neural this uh, first order neuron that is afferent and it goes to the leisure tract that is a spinal cord and just cross to it goes to the second order of neuron and finally it goes to the thalamus and finally it goes to the brain and brain will interpret what the function will do so this is the about the uh, chain so this cell body is posterior to the ganglion and this peripherally process connected with the sensory receptors ending and this process the central process enters spinal cord through the posterior route now synapse with the second order neuron is spinal gray matter now the second order so at the second order cell body posterior gray column or spinal cord it crosses the midline and ascends the synapse with the third order of the neuron that in ventro posterior lateral and nucleus of thalamus and the last one is the third order of neuron so the cell body in the thalamus it give rise the projection fibers to the cerebral cortex and post central gyrus that is the sensory area so these types of the chain which receive the impulses and they 
make the change from the first neuron it uh, transmit the impulses to the second neuron so you come to second to third neuron third neuron to it gives to the message to the brain and brain will interpret that message and after that it will communicate it so this is the structure by which the ascending and the descending neurons will function so that is a motor or it's a afferent and this is a sensory that is a sorry this is a efferent and this is a afferent afferent means it receive the stimuli from the body and efferent means it transmit afferent and efferent motor is always efferent and sensory is always afferent okay so there are some spinal tracts these are ascending and descending tract head up and down while dissection means the fibers cross side collateral means origin and destination are above the opposite side while its style means the same side or a deep touch visual pain vibration or perception and there is a dissection of second order of neuron in the medulla and the third neuron in the thalamus carries the signals of the cerebral cortex so again this is the spinothalamus pathway in which there is spinothalamus tract is comprised of two ascending pathway that convey the touch information from the skin to the brain so this is a spinothalamus so whenever the surface when the skin touch any surface so it generate the stimulus and it again give the message from the first neuron second neuron and the third neuron and they carry the crude touch pain and temperature information so this pain pressure temperature light touch tickle or itching dissection of the secondary order of neuron occurs in spinal cord and the last one is the third order of neuron arises in the thalamus and continue to the spinal cortex okay so this is the spinal thalamic pathways which is done or which is the relay center for the impulses so there are the two types of so there are the different types of tract that's ascending tract or a descending tract so these is ascending tract and descending tract are responsible for relay the messages okay so this is spinothalamic pathway now thank you so this is all about the spinal cord and cord and their structure function and what is the function of afferent and the efferent spinal nerves so in next lecture we discuss about the reflex actions of the spinal cord thank you